Hello everyone, Justin here, and today we're going to draw another chess piece called the Rook or Castle. So let's start by drawing the center line, just a vertical line, just to help guide us. And then at the top, let's draw a horizontal line, keeping it symmetric around the midline. And then another line just below. and we'll connect that with a slanted line. So underneath, we'll draw another horizontal line parallel to the first two lines. And we'll finish off the ends with a small curve, just like that. So now, this part here is the distinctive part of the rook called the battlement where the soldiers would protect the castle and it consists of these solid parts. So let's go ahead and draw a line right up here, a little bit darker. And then it goes down. Let's just draw a couple angled lines, not quite reaching the next line. And then, so this is solid, and then there'll be a space in between. So these are called the crenels. So let's draw the bottom of the crenel here and then another one on this side. And then we could go up the wall or the merlon up to this first line that we drew and off to the side. And we'll do the same on the side. Okay, so on this outline we have these solid parts and these open openings. So now here we're looking at this Merlon in directly, so you can't see the edges. But here, as it wraps around the top, you're going to see the actual thickness of this Merlon. So let's go ahead and add another line parallel to this. And then finish off the top. Same with here. So extend this line in and then draw the thickness. So let's go down a little bit here and then draw another parallel line shorter than here because what we'll do is we'll actually draw a curved line that meets this from here. So let's go ahead and do that. Just a curved line sort of angled to meet this and just a slight curve at the bottom. Here again, curved line and then a slight curve to meet this bottom line here. This section then is called the battlement. So we'll step in a little bit from the edge here and mark our mark a point there. The same here, right there. And that'll start the actual tower. So let's go down quite a ways, maybe right about here, and it doesn't really matter how high this is you'll see all sorts of different rooks that have different dimensions. So let's draw another horizontal line, just a little bit wider than up here. So let's go ahead and uh, say this is the width here, which would be right here. So let's go out a little bit to maybe right there. Okay, so to make it even, measure this part over to the other side of the center line and that would be right about there. So what we'll do, that, do then is draw a straight line from here where we stepped in to this. Okay, I'll just go ahead and darken that a bit and then from there to here and feel free for sure to use a ruler for this. I'm just gonna do this by hand because to me this is still just a sketch. All right, so from here, let's draw another parallel line just a little bit below. And we'll have a decorative uh, part here. So just like here, we're gonna make this curved but coming out from this edge. So, just like that, and like this. 
All right, so go down some more and draw yet one more parallel line, thicker than this area, maybe right about here, and go across and extend it kind of farther out, like that. All right, so now make sure that this distance from the center line, let's say right about here, is the same as out here, roughly. So let's say it's right there. What we'll do then is extend this bottom line out slightly, right there. And we're going to go out past this line and then curve back in so just like this I'll go out and then curve back in to that point and I'll do the same here out and back in okay so finally we'll do the very bottom of this rook and we'll just go down here Again, parallel to all, these are all parallel lines. Or at least I'm trying to make them parallel. So now, let's go out just a little bit farther than here. So let's say right here. And so we'll do the same here. Let's mark it. And I'll just go ahead and erase the line a little bit. So it's not so far out okay and what we'll do here is we're gonna go out again just like here and immediately curve in here out and immediately curve in and let's go ahead and darken this okay so there's as this thing curves up, there will essentially be kind of a line here. So I'll just draw that in lightly. And that's your basic rook. I'll go ahead and erase some of our layout lines, like here. That's a space. And our center line. Okay, so now what we can do is uh, try to shade this in. So let's look at this part here of the battlement. So all of these surfaces here are the outside and the light again will assume is coming from the upper left. So this is the darkest area and then getting lighter. So let's start shading this in. And getting lighter as we go to the left. And I'll add a little bit of crosshatch here. So if, if we look at this particular part, this part's catching a lot of light, but this part's gonna be in shadow. So let's darken this part a bit. And then here, this inside, this inside edge will actually be catching the light and this part here is in shadow. So just like we already did this part will be dark and shadow so let's look at this next section here this this part here sticking out and will cast a shadow on this area so let's go ahead and put a little bit of a shadow down here underneath all the way across but as the shadow gets spread out it'll actually start curving in this way so let's go ahead and extend the shadow this way and just like here we're gonna make this part here dark and going progressively lighter as we go to the left so let's do this part like that so dark and then getting lighter as we go across so we're still conserving this cast shadow from this part now this part's not going to stay completely white, so we'll make this a little bit darker, but not too dark. 
and leaving a little bit of a reflection at the top here. Not a reflection, but a highlight. Okay, so let's go ahead and go down here. Again, we're going to have a little bit of a cast shadow here. So let's make that dark. And then let's just make this whole area out here dark. So I'll do that and I'll switch over to my softer lead. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue this continue the gradient from this dark area to a lighter area here. So I'll just use vertical lines going to the left and slowly decreasing the pressure. And I'll smooth out this gradient a little bit more so there isn't such a sharp demarcation between the dark area to the medium tone. Okay, let's go on to here. Again, so this is, because this is curved, the lower part of this decorative section will be a little bit darker, just to show that it's curved, leaving a highlight at the top edge, but still making this area here on the right dark, darker. Okay, now the way this section here is curved, it's going to catch a lot of light, so most of this is going to be kind of on the lighter side of, of things. So let's leave a highlight at the top here and start shading with the darker tones here. But I'm not gonna keep it dark for long, but instead start making it light fairly early. Just like that. This bottom section though is going to be in shadow more because it goes it starts to curve inward. So I'm gonna start shading that a little bit darker. And leave a little bit of a light area right there. Okay. There's a million different ways you can shade this. This is kind of just a rough, sketchy way of doing it. So again, this part, like I said, caught a lot of light. Same with this part of the bottom. This upper section will be lighter and this bottom section here will be dark. So I'm gonna make this dark all the way across because it's at the very bottom of the rook. And again, it's farther away from the light. So we'll make this part pretty dark. Okay, and add a little bit of a gradient going across. So just to make things a little bit more even, I'm gonna use my soft lead to make the darker areas darker, especially here. And that's pretty much it. This is the rook, one of the pieces, one of the chess pieces. And I hope you found this video useful. And we'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.